I just want to start as per usual by thanking everyone for joining us today. I know you guys are taking time out of a Thursday to come join us and I really appreciate it. Uh, it's hard to believe that we're in the final stretch of this year. Uh, I feel like it was yesterday that we were planning out the course for 2022's uh, Roomville University webinars. And it's insane to think that uh, we are in October already. And I'm super excited because we get to keep doing this because you guys keep showing up. So I'm really thankful for all of you. Uh, we have some pretty exciting announcements uh, for today. To start with, we already have a new uh, user interface for Roombo Pro that is already live. That is the platform where all of you guys can go in and add and remove brands from your visualizer. Uh, we've made it easier than ever to navigate, to add those brands that are important to you. And if you look on the left-hand side, you might even see some hints for some really cool announcements uh, that are on the very near horizon. We also know that you guys want more out of your visualizer and you want it integrated better um, with some of your other systems. We are excited to announce that our integration with QFloors is officially live. So if you use QFloors, uh, we can now pass on leads that are generated in Roombo right into uh, your QFloors account and into QConnect. Uh, so if you're using both Roombo and QConnect today, reach out to your Roombo rep or the folks over at QFloors and we can turn that on. There's no charge for it. Uh, we, we know you want your systems talking together. And so we are excited about that one. We also know that you guys want more products in the visualizer and you'll have to stay tuned. Not that much longer by the next time we meet, uh, we have some pretty game changing announcements uh, that we have been hearing requests for since I started at the company three years ago. So, I think we're going to end this year uh, with some of the biggest announcements yet. And I am so excited to be able to share them with you shortly. But on that note, you came here for today for the exciting session that we have planned. And we have a pretty cool format that we're going to try out for that. The topic that you guys already know about is how to find quality salespeople in any market, how to get them ramped up quickly without having to sacrifice quality. And, and it's a pertinent topic for, anytime but i think with tightening economic conditions it's more important than ever and i'm excited to share that today we're going to tackle that on three different fronts i'm going to go into introductions in a second but i want to give you some high level overview of what you can expect out of the next hour our amazing co-host jim armstrong he jumps out of planes is going to explain how to think about sales in a diagnostic way effectively giving you a, a framework or a selling system and then our special guest, Mark Farnsworth, he's going to provide concrete tips on finding talent and ramping them up quickly, regardless of their experience in this industry, to be able to effectively use that new selling system. And finally, I'm going to demonstrate how you can leverage technology uh, as part of that selling system in order to bring even more value to your customers in every interaction in the pursuit of faster sales and higher margins. No one wants to hear me speak, you can mute it at that point, but if you're interested, maybe you don't. But on that note, I'd like to get into some intros. Jim Armstrong, the co-host, the internationally known trainer and coach for flooring dealers, and the founder and president of Flooring Success Systems, a marketing services and coaching program for dealers. Since 2007, thousands of dealers across the US and Canada have relied on Jim's methods to get more customers, higher margins and gain an unfair advantage over the box stores while living the lifestyle they deserve. Our special guest, Mark Farnsworth, is the president of Floor Covering Basics. With over 45 years of experience in the industry, Mark brings vast knowledge in all facets of the trade. Growing up working in a floor covering retail environment, he understands what it takes to operate a profitable retail business during his professional career He's been acknowledged for his expertise in trade magazines, articles, and professional industry publications. And it turns out he's kind of a super fan of this segment. He's watched every single episode, which I just learned about today. On that note, Jim, you want to take it away and start with the diagnostic selling system. 
Absolutely. And, you know, how we came up with this topic was Mark and I talked, we had, we had several conversations and, you know, there's a, there, you know, how can we help dealers in this tough market um, find the best talent? And dealers are, generally, they try and hire salespeople with flooring experience. And if you can get that and get somebody who has good attitude and is skilled at selling in those flooring, that's great. But what if you can't find that? What if you're having trouble with that? What if you're in a tough labor market like we are right now? So what we what we the, talked about was how, how can we help that situation? And so really what we're going to do is help you open up the pool of talent that's available to you by giving you some tools today that are going to help you more, as Brandon said, more quickly ramp up new salespeople. So you can hire for attitude and skill and train for aptitude. Hire for attitude, train for aptitude. And the, you know, I've I, having coached dealers for so long, I've seen um, over and over again, you know, dealers who have a, a salesperson that, that brings in a lot of business, but they're toxic, they have toxic uh, work personalities, you know, work, they just, yeah, they they book a lot of sales, but the, the dealer feels almost uh, hostage to them because they, they book so much business and this will help free you up from that. So what I'm going to talk about is having a selling system in place, step-by-step, -step, uh, teachable, coachable system that your uh, new salespeople can learn quickly and uh, can, they can be held accountable for results. Um, this is uh, something that I, I, we provide for all of our Flooring Success Systems members. It's called the uh, Design Audit Selling System. And it's really what it is. It's a diagnostic sales process. And, you know, you want to position yourself as a family doctor, not as a used car salesman. You want to diagnose and then prescribe. And that's what this system does. And I think as we walk through it, you're going to see how you can, this is, it's scripted. It doesn't mean you have to say the script word for word, but it, it, it does give new salespeople a format to follow that they can repeat over and over again and increase their skill. They're not just winging it. Okay. And it'll help them not only uh, know the right questions to ask, but it'll help give them confidence and appear as though they actually have more experience than they really do. Because they're going to be asking in-depth questions, things that your, uh, your competition probably aren't asking and aren't doing. So let's just jump into it. I'm going to give kind of a, just a high 30,000 foot view. There's four steps to this process. Step number one is taking control of the sales process. So when somebody walks into your store, most of the time, uh, de dealer or salespeople say something like, how may I help you? Or tell me about your project or what have you. And they do that out of a, a desire to provide good service. But in reality, it sounds like everybody else. There's no differentiation created, and it's it it puts the uh, prospect into the driver's seat, and it sets up a situation where you wind up having premature price and product discussions. So, taking control is going to help with that. So, when someone comes into your store, um, instead of saying "How may I help?", you say something like this: "Hey, welcome to Jimbo's Floors. Are you a new or returning client?" Oh, you're a new client. Well, we're so happy to have you here. We have a special program for new clients. Can I take a quick minute and tell you about it? And the script is identical if they're a returning client. Now you have a chance to go to step two. And now you have control of the sales process. You're running the show, not the client. If you don't have a system for selling, you're going to be at this, the mercy of your client system for buying and their their system is to shop around and try and get the best price okay you want to get them off of that track second thing is you want to now build value 
So you're going to build value on why they should sit down and talk to you, why they should engage in this pro in this process in the system. And so you want to say something like this: Well, Mrs. Uh, you know, Mrs. Jones, uh, flooring is one of the biggest interior design decisions you're going to make, uh, and it affects the way your entire home looks. Yet there are literally thousands of different pro products to choose from, and it can be a little overwhelming and confusing. Uh, people are often rightly concerned about picking the wrong product, something they're not going to like or that doesn't hold up under their the traffic they have in their homes. So we have a process where uh, called the design audit where we're going to sit down with you. We're going to I'm going to go over some questions for a few minutes, and we're going to help narrow down all those thousands of options to the best two or three options for your design taste, your lifestyle, and your budget. So why don't we head over to the uh, design room and sit down together? Now your design room can be just a round table with some chairs around it, something, but you're gonna sit down with them. And you wanna, you wanna do something like this. I'm gonna give you an example of what are called trust builders. Now we have 21, over 21 trust builders built into the design audit system. And so as we go along, I'm not going to I'm not going to try and hit all 21. We, we uh, I, I'd have to take up the whole hour to do it. But I'm just going to give you some ideas, some food for thought for the kind of thing you want to put in to your selling system so that you are building trust and positioning yourself as a trusted advisor. So when you sit down, pull out a laminated beverage menu with uh, like Coke, Diet Coke, uh, Sprite. Uh, wine, beer, bottled water, Red Bull, whatever you want to have on there. And, and as you hand it to them, say, what can I get you to drink? And well, first of all, it's going to blow them away because no one else will have done that. If Even if they visited four or five other stores, no one's going to have done that with them. It's going to create an immersive experience. It's going to, now they're settling into this. They're going to enjoy a beverage with you. And it also sets up the rule of residence where you know you're doing something nice for them they're going to want to do something nice in return just the way we work so when you when you sit down with them then you're going to ask questions you want to ask questions and write down the answers that's step three so we have take control of the sales process build value and now we're going to ask questions and write down the answers and i encourage you to write down the answers or input it into a tablet or something because you're instantly going to communicate that you're different than everybody else who just listened to the, or maybe didn't even ask that many questions. And you're showing that you, you, have, you, you care about them, that you have concern, that you're actually taking the time and you're writing it down. That's exactly what a doctor does. When you go into a doctor's office and you sit down in their exam room, they don't burst in and say, so what kind of pills can I get you? We've got Two for one on Viagra, half off penicillin, uh, buy one, get one free on, on antidepressants. You know, that, that it doesn't work that way. They sit down, they diagnose, then they prescribe and they write down the answers or they put it into their computer. Okay. It happens every time you want to do the same thing. And some, some key questions, we use an entire questionnaire for this section. And this really is helpful for, for new people too, not only because you're writing down the answers, but also because it gives them a script to follow. They don't have to have memorized this list of questions. Uh, it's right there in front of them, okay? And some key questions that you want to include in a question, I'm going to give you just a couple. They're questions that your competition isn't going to ask, and they help hand you the keys to the sale. One of those questions is, what's important about new flooring to you? And then listen very carefully. You know, maybe they're going to have a big celebration at their house and they want to have new floors. Maybe they're, a new baby is going to be arriving. Maybe they're going to sell their house. Who knows what the situation is? But listen to that answer, write it down, and then you're going to be able to refer back to that as you're making recommendations. Another thing you can ask them is, uh, have you ever had professional and uh, flooring and professionally installed? What did you like about the process? What did you not like about the process? 
because you're going to hear some things that are going to be very enlightening. They may have some fears because, you know, the last time they had flooring, uh, uh, the, the installer, you know, showed up wearing a, a ripped up Guns N' Roses t-shirt and was smoking weed in the driveway and rooted through the master bedroom underwear drawer. And the lady of the house didn't appreciate any of that. And so when you hear that, you can reassure her that, no, we won't do any of those things. Our, our, our technicians are trained, they're qualified, they're well-dressed, and they're going to leave your home cleaner than when they arrived. Um, and then the, a final question to include is, how can we exceed your expectations? Wow, who asks that in any industry? No, no, you, I can't remember the last time I heard anybody ask me that, let alone a flooring business. And that's it's just going to impress, press the hell out of them. And it's going to give you some, well, we can guarantee that, you know, you could exceed my expectations by not leaving a mess or by, you know, uh, being on time, et cetera, et cetera, whatever it is, you can promise them you'll make sure that that happens. And then step four is the in-home visit. Now, on the in-home visit, there's a lot that can be done there beyond what most dealers do, which is just take down measurements, give them a quote, and a lot of dealers are still just emailing quotes in. Okay, that's that's what everybody does. So you want to use that opportunity to create differentiation, again, take control of the sales process, preemptively close. So some tips to do that are call five minutes before you arrive, five to 10 minutes, let them know you're going to, that you're almost there. When you arrive, you know, carry a computer case or a briefcase. When you knock on the door, you know, take a step or two back so you're not looming in the doorway. You know, you it's probably the late almost, you know, 80% of the time you're going to be meeting with the lady of the house. Then you want to, uh, when you step inside, pull out some of those medical booties that you, you know, slip on over your shoes, put those on. You're instantly communicating that you're a professional, that you're going to be careful. And it also subliminally keeps reinforcing that idea that you're a doctor. Okay, that you're like the family physician. I, I used to own a carpet cleaning company. And I did this all the time. And a lot of them called me Dr. Armstrong. I loved it. It was great. It's exactly what, how I wanted them to see me. Uh, we were the most expensive in town. I was made sure we were the most expensive. I didn't compete on price. And it was using these kinds of strategies that allowed us to do that. When you're in the home, do things like get permission to... Uh, inspect the vacuum cleaner, explain that a properly functioning vacuum will help her, her carpeting last longer. Uh, look at the kind, get permission to look at the kind of cleaners and spotters and things that they're using on their floor. Get permission to look at their walk-off mats, make recommendations there. Get all the measurements, sit down, and then when you put the quote together, give them when whenever possible uh, and when appropriate, give them three options, good, better, and best. That way they can choose between you, you, and you rather than you and somebody else, okay? Um, and there's a lot more you can do in that, but what I'm trying to get across to you is having a system like that, and you can see how I've just rattled this off just from rote memory. And if you've heard me train on this, you will have recognized a lot of the, the pieces. Well, your new salespeople are going to be able to do that. You're giving them a script and a template to follow that's going to give them so much confidence and, and to create differentiation and make them look like a seasoned flooring pro, even if they've only been with you a month. Okay. So having that kind of a step-by-step -step system in place is just really important. Uh, if you want to get your people trained fast. So now what we're going to do is we're going to pivot to Mark. Mark, you're going to talk about, okay, what are the basics that the, you know, um, your new salespeople need to know? I mean, there's, there's, uh, a, you could fill a library with flooring information. 
it, you can spend a lifetime learning that stuff. Right. So talk about what it is you do and, and, and how your approach helps new salespeople get up and running and up to speed more quickly. All righty. What, what I realized was <clears throat> I was a manufacturer's rep for many, many years. I decided to take the vice presidency job at a five-store retail chain. That's when I realized my salespeople really didn't have the confidence to understand a floor never fails. The material will fail on you. A lot of our salespeople would allow the customer to guide them with the, the material they was going to choose for their project. You have to understand that certain products do not go in certain areas. There's atmospheric uh, pressures, there's things of that nature. The other thing that you have to understand is your job as a floor sales rep, when someone enters your store, they're really entering your store to get an idea or a quote on how much this is going to cost. That's the, that's the whole answer is how much. A lot of our salespeople that work for me did not have the confidence to figure a measure. So they would take the measure to one of my senior sales reps. Well, they didn't realize it. I would watch the consumer. They no longer felt that you were an expert or you knew what you were doing. So what I did was I actually wrote a manual. If you go to work for a flooring, uh, a car dealership, they hand you a manual. In that manual, the very most important page that I sold, I closed a lot of sales on, was when you got to the page of page 21. Jim, can you flip the page 21? Yes. This is a cheat sheet page. A customer would walk in our store and say, I'm looking for a remnant, per se. And they would say, it's a 13 by 14. Well, instantly, my salespeople had page 21. If you could hold that up for him, Jim, and show the audience. See there? So at 13 by 14, instantly takes a 12 by 18. So as a flooring expert, you can immediately identify anything on that wall that will fit that room. That separated you from everyone else, and you didn't have to run the senior management to get an idea. By simply making a block, you can block out a program very, very quickly and say approximately we have this many square yards feet to work with, which will approximately get you into a budget for the customer. The second thing that we did was we utilized a lot of pictures. There's some great pictures in this manual. Probably one of the best pictures is what's very hot today, which is your waterproof product. And that is on page... Let's get that for you real quick here. That's on page 36, Jim. If you could hold up page 36, it's an instant for somebody that is not familiar with uh, how the product is made or engaged with a uh, waterproof product. But that product there, that picture alone will show you the locking system. It will show you everything. It also identifies that how product is made. So when a customer complains about maybe an LVT squeaking, you have to understand that LVT was uh, applied to the WPC when you would uh, put like hot heat to it, it wants to expand and contract, cause and peaking issues and things like that. But with this manual, what I'm really trying to educate you on, the Shaw reps, the Mohawk reps, they know their products inside and out. Why would you not have a manual like this? Ask them questions and make your own notes in this manual. You can read about how the product is manufactured. You can read about everything on every product, where it's an engineer floor. To a lot of people, too, the consumer today is very, very smart. If they walk in, and let's say they're from Canada or up north where I live, which is in Ohio or Michigan, we have an influx of Canadian cushion. A lot of people don't even know what the difference between a Canadian cushion and American cushion is, or what the, what it, why would you want a Canadian cushion over an American cushion? A lot of people don't understand the different face weights and how they really perform on a carpet. And the third thing they don't understand 
is the underlayments. Why do we put different underlayments? Why does Cortex have cork? Why does this one have rubber? These are answers that are in this manual. Yes, you can sit and you can watch videos. You can listen to people. But just like when I was in high school and college, there's nothing like having a book to write in your own handwriting, your own note. I specifically made the paper or the softback in a spiral. That was recommended by a very, very uh, friend, a good friend of mine from Carpet One that happened to be a owner of a Carpet One store. He said, with a spiral, I could take it to quick put and I could add a lot of blank pages. So when I go to Vegas or I go to my market, I'm talking to a sales rep, I have all my notes right there. So when I get home from a buying trip, I can implement those notes that I took in my handwriting into my computer at a later time. A lot of us like myself, I'm in my mid sixties. I don't like sitting down and making notes in computers. I like making notes in my own handwriting. That's why I developed the book, Jim. I wanted to give confidence. Once you have confidence in what you're selling, you can sell anything. And the book is not, it's not bias at all. I just talk about how the product's made. I don't tell you the Mohawk rep will come in and say, my product's great because of this, but how many times they tell you what it doesn't do or why it would not work in that area. You find that out after it was installed or you sell the wrong product and you play, blame the installer. It wasn't his, you were the front guy to seen the customer first. You should have known not to sell them a laminate in a moisture area. So that's really what I want to touch on, Jim, as far as the manual itself. It is a self-guided educational manual that will guide you to the right product when she tells you what area she wants to put the product in or what type of family uh, activity she has. If they have a lot of allergy problems and things of this nature, you should look at a Canadian cushion. It has no filler in it. It's 100% foam mattress foam. And uh, so there's different products manufactured for the atmospheres and things of that nature. What I love about this manual, Mark, is it's only 130 pages. Yes. You, you, you've condensed it down to what a salesperson needs to know to be competent and make good recommendations. Um, and it's not brand specific, like you were saying, it's product specific. So that no matter what pro, you know, what brand you're going with, you'll have this base understanding. I love it. Yes, that's what I really tried to do. I, Jim and people like that are experts of helping you close sales. I'm an expert in helping you understand what material is going to go in what area not to cause you problems later and why. You can't tell me that doesn't work. Why doesn't it work? What, why? answer the question why that product doesn't work. There's two things that customer wants to know. How much and will this product perform for what I want to use it for? Those are the two questions they want to, they want to answer. Yeah, and your your job as that trusted as the family doctor, you know, if you go into your doctor and say, "Hey, I'd like to take this pill." They go, "No, no, no, no. Here's the problem with that pill." That Correct. pill is going to cause that. Yeah, it may seem like it. You want this other thing over here. You're counting on them for that. That's exactly right. They perceive you to be the expert, whether you've been there one week or you have been there 13 years. And I run into people that have been there 13 years that don't want to stay up with the times and don't want to educate themselves. So what they do is they say, well, that product's no good. Well, why? It's been improved. It's no longer like the products that we grew up with. I've been doing this since my father. He has picking up scraps at seven years old. I mean, we used to sew seams. You don't sew seams anymore. So right. everything improves. These manufacturers are terrific of making the best products for the best atmospheres. They're terrific. They understand what underlayment is going to give them the best ability to keep that product together, click together, so they will understand 
if they're going to use a higher end product, they should use a higher end cell denning underlayment. It just makes sense because mm -hmm. that's what you're paying for. Yeah. But you need to understand when a customer comes in with a major concern that I have somebody upstairs, I'm very, very concerned about making a lot of noise, but yet I'd like to use a waterproof product. Well, the underlayment's going to cut that noise off for you. You need to know what underlayment is going to perform for that application. Exactly. I wish whoever sold my mom the carpet for our washroom read your manual. So yeah, you know, thank you. I'm just joking. Jim, I saw your whole face change. There's no carpet in my washroom. Okay. I, yeah, I would like I, I saw that. Oh, I saw. What manual did they read? Say, <laughs> yeah. I was gonna say that should never have happened. <laughs> no, no, no. I don't know much, but I know that, that I know that much. Maybe uh maybe that's a good segue though, in, in all seriousness, you know, the 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 topic that both of you guys covered was trust right and yes. confidence sometimes it's the rsa that needs the confidence sometimes it's the consumer that needs the confidence and that's sort of uh where i wanted to take the conversation uh and i'll share my screen here i don't know can you guys see it all right yep yes cool so this is very much so not uh, a, a room vote plug this is actually about using a visualizer regardless of what that visualizer is or who the provider is, uh, the theme is really the same. The whole idea is that you should be using tools and specifically technology to instill confidence in the customer. You should be able to use uh, technology to uh, bring more value in every interaction because the value and the confidence, that is what leads to faster sales and higher margins. And so when we look at what makes a good visualizer, we've narrowed it down to a few really important things. Uh, needs to be easy to use. It's gotta be intuitive. It has to be accessible on any device, whether it's a tablet, an iPhone or a, or a mobile phone, uh, or just a customer going on your website, on their computer. And, and, and when they get there, it needs to keep customers on your website. The traditional experience when it came to visualizers and, and when I talked. Brandon, uh, are you oh, muted? We Brandon, we can't hear you, buddy. No, this is terrible. Oh, there we go. Now we can hear you. No, Could you, not, hear. you couldn't hear me. No. For about 15 seconds, you, you were muted. It's okay. Most people don't want to hear me. Ah. You can hear me now. <laughs> what, was the last thing you heard? Yeah. what was the last thing you heard? Something about skydiving. I don't no. know. <laughs> you were talking about getting them on the website and keeping them there. Cool. Yeah. Uh, I was just saying that at trade shows, uh, when I introduce visualization, sometimes for the first time to a retailer, uh, their pushback is that they don't need one for their website. They tell me that their manufacturers have uh, visualizers on their websites. Uh, but that means you're sending customers to five different websites. None of them, by the way, are yours. All five of those websites have dealer or store locators. So you're sending customers to places where they can find local competition. And what happens is that within seconds, the conversation with the customer becomes a conversation that revolves around price and not value because they have leverage. They know that they can walk down the street to these six other stores and get this exact same product. So for me, of all of the things, keeping customers on your website probably the most important today. You need a visualizer that has access to products across all of the brands that you carry. Um, what good is a visualizer if it only has a small subset? And you need realism. You need a visualizer of the highest quality. If a customer can't see what the product really looks like in their space, then what's the point of the exercise? If it's not taking objects and lighting and shadow into account, then it's not an accurate representation of what that product looks like in the customer's home. And that leads to a bad experience on the other side of it being installed. 
the whole concept here is confidence. And so I want to go into a very quick demo of the visualizer, of our visualizer, but uh, what I'm going to show you, it, it really doesn't matter uh, which one you use for this. I'll give you a second. If you want to participate, you can scan this QR code. It's going to open up to the exact same site that I'm going to go on in, in about three seconds here. I'll get right into it now. Oh, back up, back up to the slide. I, 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 I was sure. Trying to... Yeah. Is that, uh, give me the green light, Jim. I, can... I got it. I'm opening it. Cool. Okay. So right now we're on a retailer's website, Van Briggle. And this is a retailer in, in California. You can see in the bottom right corner of the screen here is Roomba. I want you to take note of one thing while we're here, the URL, vanbrigglefloors.com. I'm gonna open up the visualizer. And the first thing you're gonna see is a catalog. This is a catalog of products from a series of brands that in this case, Van Briggle chose. With Roomba, you can add as many or as few brands as you'd like as long as uh, that brand works with us today. And when you pick one product, again, it, it really doesn't matter, and I'll show you why in a second. You're taken to a page where you can upload a photo of your room or you can use a preset room. I would really recommend if you just scan that on your phone you'd, that you take a photo uh, of, of the room that you're in right now. I actually took a photo of our office a, a second ago, so you'll see here that there's carpet tile here. I'm gonna choose that photo. And within just a few seconds, Rubo is going to let you see what products look like in that space. You'll see here that we've instantly changed that carpet tile to Hallmark floors, hardwood floors. I can put soft surface. I can actually rotate the surface to see what planks look like in opposite directions. It takes lighting and shadows into account. And on that same note of having a diagnostic tool, very much so, Jim, like you were saying, we make it easy to help you diagnose quickly what the customer wants and maybe what they don't want. On the left-hand side, you'll see that there are filters like color so that you can quickly find what a blue carpet would look like. Customers can make a decision for themselves and they can quickly narrow down products that maybe they aren't as interested in. And this is super important for you guys to take note of throughout that entire process. We can go across different brands too here, I'll pull up maybe a Monarch Plank product. This is the kind of stuff that your RSA should be taking note of. This is the kind of stuff that you're gonna be able to use for really tailored follow-ups. We even have features in the visualizer to make an interactive experience that stretches beyond that one in-store experience. I'll, I'll show you what I mean by that. On, on the right-hand side, you'll see an email function feature. Well, if I'm talking to a customer in my store, I'm showing them what products look like, I can actually email them the photo that we're working on. And so they're gonna get an email immediately with a link right back into the visualizer, right back to that product and this is that sort of extra touch that you were talking about. You go home now, you can show your significant others, the other people who are involved in the decision, what you were thinking about. They can go home, they can use the tool, they can now email it back right to you so that you know what they're looking for. And this entire time we kept you on vanbrigglefloors.com. In fact, this little X in the top left corner, you click it, you're on the same page of their website that you were on when you started. And so this whole experience is taking place on your site. If you're the customer, you know nothing better than this retailer cares. You know, this is way more value than anywhere else I'm gonna get. But, but a visualizer is just the beginning. You know, our last guest on, on the webinar, Chad Ogden, CEO of QFloors, he spoke about um, you know, his platform and, and one of the things that stood out to me was it's not just getting a new software. You have to also get a new attitude. You have to use the software. Having a visualizer on your website 
if you do net nothing, it will increase sales, right? Customers that land on your site now have a tool that they didn't have before. You can't lose with that. It's just going to make a better customer experience. But if you really want to juice your sales, your guys have to start using it. They have to develop a new habit. And that's not always easy, right? Especially at the beginning. So it's not just about training them as a one-time exercise. It's about what are you doing to reinforce that training until it becomes second nature. The North Star is, are my customers using a visualizer in every interaction that they have with customers to add an extra layer of value to instill that much more confidence into that customer? We provide complimentary training for every single one of our customers. So if you have the visualizer on your website and you want your team trained, please reach out to your Roomvo rep. They will get that set up ASAP because it's the most important thing for your team to start getting them to use it. We also really recommend that you integrate your visualizer into your showroom experience. Traditionally, the in-store and the online experience have been thought of as two different things. People think of it as my showroom and as my website, but it's not, at least not anymore. The customer expects a simple omnichannel experience, an integrated omnichannel experience, so that no matter where they're touching your brand, they know what to expect. And we see big companies are investing in this across the board. So how can you do that with a visualizer? Well, we help you get pop-up banners for your showroom, advertising that you have a visualizer available to customers. And we have QR codes that make it easy for customers to enter that visualizer directly from the banner. It's also a very nice reminder for your RSAs who are still developing that habit. Huge banner is hard to miss. QR codes on samples. When scanned, they open the visualizer up on your website directly to the product that that sample or that QR code sticker was on. Again, it's this integrated experience. They go from holding that physical sample, feeling that floor in their hand to within seconds, seamlessly being able to see what that product looks like. If they already have a photo on them of their space, they can just upload that right into there. Maybe they take a photo of the showroom just to see how it works and then they get excited and they go home and they use it but it's all about making that experience seamless and integrated. We also recommend tablets. Our visualizer is integrated on all devices or optimized for all devices, but the whole experience is about letting the customer envision what this product could look like. And the bigger the screen, the easier it is for them to see what that really would look like. And so we recommend tablets because they're portable, they're bigger, especially things like iPads that are high quality and the product looks good. It's look the tablets today, they're expensive. Some of them and iPad pro isn't cheap, but as far as the ROI on that goes, it's kind of a no brainer. If you can just sell one job, it's paid for itself and it works. If you also give those tablets to those who go doing in-home measurements, that's the golden opportunity. I mean, now you have someone in the customer's home, and they have a tablet that they can take a photo of, take the photo of the space, that home that they're in, upload it into the visualizer, you'll blow the customer's mind, and then you go and you leave that customer's house and you still have that photo. You go back to the showroom, you upload that photo into the visualizer, you use Jim's selling system, that diagnostic mentality. You remember, hey, they liked light hardwood and you upload a few different options of light hardwood into the visualizer, into that customer space, and you email it to them as a tailored follow-up. And I promise you, no one's doing that. And I promise you that you are immediately demonstrating to the customer, I want your business. And this is the kind of value that we bring our customers. That customer is going to be willing to spend a little bit more money because they're going to know that they're going to do this once and it's going to be done right. Here's just some examples of uh, retailers that are already integrating Roomvo into their showroom today. So on the sides are those banners and in the middle is the QR code. Our team does all of the heavy lifting. We'll design them for you. We send you print ready files for free so that you can get them printed locally. If you don't wanna worry about that, 
we print them and ship them to you at cost. We make no money on these. Um, our MO is to work with you guys to support you at all costs. Even that widget on uh, Van Briggle's site, the Roombo Assistant, that's free. You know, the manufacturers pay uh, to have their products in the visualizer and they pay to make sure that we support you guys every step of the way. So on here, I just have some tip and, tips and tricks that uh, I've already sort of stated, you know, it's uploading the photo and customers are way more likely when they can see the, the products in their space and not in a, a preset room. So that's, that's really important that your visualizer has that. The filters, that's the diagnostic point. That's helping them figure out what they do like and maybe what they don't like so that you can speed up the process. And that email feature to make it really easy to interact with customers, regardless of them being right in front of you, so that they can share ideas of what they think looks good and, and what they think doesn't look good without having to use words or leaving it to a small sample and, and guessing. They can really see it and they can be confident. On that note, I'll wrap it up. I think everyone here should have Roombo just in case you don't and you want to get it for free. QR code takes you to the sign up form but I, I don't think anyone here needs that. Um, I'll turn it back over uh, to, to the crowd here. Uh, I'll give you guys a few seconds to um, ask any questions. We have a Q&A section in the box. So if you guys have any questions, here's a really good time to do that. And Jim, Mark, is there anything I missed? Anything that you guys wanted to talk about while we give people a chance to uh, ask their questions to you guys? One thing I'll add is that, you know, Brandon and I have actually done trainings together where we focused on the sales process and, and using, in fact, as part of uh, our flooring success systems training for the design on it, we have uh, an entire video on integrating Roombo into that in the showroom and then also in the home. And what Brandon said is true. It's just, it's, an, it's another powerful tool to um, create differentiation, show them that you're different, you know, uh, position yourself as the trusted advisor, uh, give them a sense of confidence, like you were saying, Brandon. And then, you know, taking what Mark covered, you know, if if you're if you've gone through and you've learned that the, your salesperson knows the skills. Um, gone through Mark's manual, they can if steer the client in the right direction in terms of not getting a product that's going to uh, not perform well, like a hardwood floor in a basement in Florida. You don't want that. And so all, I just see all three of these. If you have all three of these tools working together, you're going to be able to one, train new salespeople and get them up and producing for your company very quickly uh, as opposed to not having them. The second thing is, even if you don't need new salespeople right now, it's going to make them, if they don't have these tools, this is just going to make them that much sharper and help them close that many more sales. Okay. Mark, uh, why don't you take a minute uh, and and talk about how people can get a hold of uh, your man, this awesome manual. Thank and, you. Uh, any other information you'd like them to sure. know about what you do? What I'd like to, to talk about is <clears throat> you can get that awesome manual, as Jim referred it to, as and I, I, it took me three years to write that manual, and I didn't write it alone, believe me. I had a lot of influence and I took that manual and it's been added so many times by carpet retailers that are friends of mine and have been friends of mine for over 20, 25 years. Unfortunately, I'm starting to show my age here, but I have been born into the industry and I do understand the industry. The one thing I do understand is people have to look at the future. When you go to www.floorcoveringbasics.com, you're going to see support from people like Elizabeth Calvrini, the women of the floor covering business, Mark Viola, the IICRC approved instructor on my site. You're what was also, that website again, Mark? I don't mean to interrupt you. I'm going to put it in the chat. Thank you. It is www.floorcoveringbasics.com. It's floor covering basics because you have to know the basics. 
Okay, I'm putting that in the chat here for everyone who wants to. So when you look at, paste it into your browser. I did not make my manuals expensive. I made them $50 for the softback, $30 for the PDF. The PDF was designed because of the fact some of the experienced people will just want the reference. They might just want to type in their computer and ask a simple question, bang, the answer comes up in a PDF format. Different from maybe a new sales rep that might have to take the time and really dig into it, really watch some educational videos and understand what they're really looking at. Now, my my the value of my product is there. The um, sp speaking about what Brandon had said, when you we really uh, when we started this conversation, I told Brandon and Jim, I have never ever looked a year in front of me. I've always looked 10 years in front of me, what's coming. My sister is a major person at Microsoft. And she told me when we shut down the United States, the world has changed instantly. She said, consumers today no longer want to come to the store to find out how much. We've developed a program and it is called virtual estimating. You will see a cartoon, a three minute cartoon on my site, floor covering basic that explains virtual estimating. Like Brandon's program, People want to do a lot of this at home. We have, we are, are incorporating the catalog to put the products in our visualization program. That is our software ability to incorporate the material catalog. Right now, when you pull it up, you will see that it will bring up a labor quote from you. By using the catalog input, we can bring up the product, the labor, we can get you a total cost right before when a customer is sitting at home. And like Brandon had mentioned, the most important thing is this is developed where they never leave your website. If they put all this information in, the minute they hit save, you immediately get the information that the customer is looking at, just like Brandon had said. So you can contact that customer in today's world like we're doing today. Zoom calls are very popular. It, you cannot fight a Zoom call. That is the way that the, the consumer is communicating today. They truly don't want you in their store. They, I mean, in their home, they know that they have to allow you in to do the install. But a lot of this, like Brandon had mentioned, if they can get this before they even come to the store, they can get an estimate on their labor. They can get an estimate what the jobs are cost before they even come to the store. That's what they're looking at in today's world. So when you look at my website, there's a lot of things that we are adding to our website. Um, I'm in the process too. Everyone has always mentioned colleges and training. Jim Aaron's doing a fantastic job with installation. But who's training the, the, the first person that meets them? That's the most important person. When they first walked in the door, who's telling them this is the product you need before it gets to the installer. And that's really what I wanted to kind of put a plug in there on is the visualization of the estimating program. And we are in the process of incorporating this catalog. So it will go right into add the, you know, in the, the cart where you add it to your cart. So somebody can truly buy flooring installation, product, everything right online without ever coming to your store. Interesting, interesting. So, I put the, uh, I actually put the link in the chat box too for floorcoveringbasics.com. So you guys Thank can you. check that out. Floorcoveringbasics.com for anybody that's watching this recorded. Um, I am just really glad we all had the opportunity to get to get together on this. You know, Mark, as I, after I got done talking to you, I thought, man, we got to pull Brandon in and turn this into a, uh, a way for people to you know, help with this difficult labor market that we're in right now. And at the same time, if you don't need a salesperson, well, you can um, sharpen up your own sales team and help them close more sales, get higher margins. So anyway, great to have you. Thanks for coming on, Mark. 
Oh, thank you, Jim. And thank you, Brandon. That was excellent because the consumers today do have to understand they need to visualize or they can't let them go to different sites. They need to hold them right on that site that they're on. Yeah, no, I, I appreciate you sharing all your knowledge and I'm going to get that manual and I'm going to give it to the guy who sold my mom the carpet for the washroom because she needs <laughs> And you got a shot, a shout out, by the way, Robert Broda wrote a uh, nice job, Mark. Good to see it on the big screen. So you got a fan in the, in the audience. I got a fan. <laughs> there you go. Awesome. Just to wrap it up really quickly, save the date. Uh, November 10th is our last Roombo university uh, of the year. And we'll give you some more info shortly. And on that note, I wanted to thank you, Mark, for joining. Thank you. Bruce. Man, I appreciate that. That was a ton of fun. And that was really uh, insightful for the audience. Jim, I want to thank you for always being the best co-host and jumping out of those planes like a psychopath. Right. And I want to thank everyone for attending today and taking time out of your Thursday to join us. I appreciate you guys, and we'll see you soon. Okay, bye. Thank you.